And it was another beautiful day today, albeit a little bit on the warmer side. The humidity wasn't terrible. Dew points were in the upper 50s, low 60s across the area. But really very a, night, a very nice day as the change is coming. Temperature right now, 85 degrees. That's the official high for the day, a dew point 52. Tell you what, dew points have been kind of fluctuating, 50s and low 60s across the area. And humidity right now is only at 32%. So, yes, very warm, but also on the dry side. If you're out and about and trying to do anything, as I was out in the garden this morning, it was pretty warm. 86 right now at Slidell, 84 degrees Bogalusa, 82 at uh, Hammond, and 83 degrees down both at Galliano and at Bell Chase. Today's high, 85, was well above our average for this time of year, but our low this morning was actually not too far off of the normal. 64 degrees are where we start the day, and actually early this morning we were down to 52 degrees in Slidell. We're not going to be quite that cool tomorrow morning as temperature and dew points will be coming up a bit, or dew points, I should say, will be coming up a bit through the overnight period as we're going to start to see a little bit more of a wind coming back off of the Gulf water. So a mostly dry day tomorrow. If we do see any rainfall tomorrow at about 20%, it'll probably be more later in the evening and night. Then we're looking at a greater risk of severe weather primarily now on Thursday and then dry but staying warm on Friday. So for the rest of the week, Dry for the most part Wednesday and Friday with our storm chance on Thursday. Here's what's going on. High pressure basically sitting right over us. But as that continues to push off to the east, we are going to start to see more of a return flow. So winds coming back off of the Gulf. And we'll also start to see kind of an upper level pattern uh, allowing for more cloud cover begin moving over the area. Now, during the day tomorrow through Thursday morning, the greatest risk of severe weather is primarily over Texas and northwest Louisiana. We're under a low end risk as we get closer to early Thursday morning. Then Thursday morning through midday, that risk does shift back over us as a slight risk, a two of five. We still could see some isolated storms, a few isolated tornadoes possible. The greater risk, though, as we get into Thursday is actually going to be shifting more to our east. Here's what the computer model is looking like as we kind of start this off Thursday afternoon. Again, mostly dry, but also mostly cloudy. Maybe a few showers later in the day, but notice most of the storms by late Wednesday night heading into early Thursday will be primarily focused to our north. Then we see kind of a weak frontal boundary starting to move over us. That would be when we start to see some of those isolated strong to severe storms. Midday hours, a lot of the severe weather will be moving out of the area. May still have a few lingering thunderstorms by the afternoon hours, but for the most part, this is primarily going to be a Thursday morning and midday event moving through the area. Again, a lot of folks will be awake and nothing should be catching you by surprise if we do see one of those storms become strong to severe. We also have a very low end risk of some flooding rains. Primarily, if we do see any heavy downpours, that could lead to some flash flooding. It should be fairly isolated in nature. A mild night tonight with overnight lows only into the 60s. Tomorrow afternoon, increasing clouds, warm, breezy, and an isolated shower mainly later in the day. Then the storms move in on Thursday. We'll be watching once again another risk of severe weather. At least a big difference this time. We have another cold front moving through on Saturday, which will allow for a much more pleasant Sunday. So, for the first time in a couple of weeks this Sunday, looking to be very nice with that nice weather continuing into early next week. All right, Chris, thanks so much. Well, just ahead.